all right well it's been i don't know probably a month now i haven't been able to make much progress on this this stuff is incredibly hard to find an inch and a half everywhere sold out i went to three different towns i ended up having to break down and spend more money and buy these little sheets which is annoying But I need to get progress done. Summer's coming to an end. It's already August. And I haven't been able to camp. So we're going to get as much as we can. we got to get the ceiling done for sure. And we got to get the front of this. And maybe this little section here wooded in. So I can start mounting my power panel. And start building uh, my little storage racks. So that's the plan. I went and bought wood. Hmm. We're going to have to plane all the wood down thinner. Because that stuff is heavy. And I'm trying to keep this light. So <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get the rest of the insulation wrapped up. Making progress. Just imagine the light turned on. Let's see. Plus we'll go here. Hold itself together. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Wait. Now we have more boards to plane. Well, this is taking forever. A little bit of fitment issues here and there. I don't know what I'm going to do around the windows yet. But the power panel is in. I just need to make the box up. All right, I'm getting ready to install a door latch or handle or whatever you want to call it. And <clears throat> going through the instructions, trying to make me a little template. And I was just about to center this lock piece and found it's off center. And there's nowhere in here that I see that says anything about this measurement. It has lots of other measurements. It has your cutout, the distance from the cutout. Okay, well, looks like we're gonna start guessing. that up all right here's my plan 
I took the that bar there that was here. So far, we're going to leave it off. I may build a handle from here to here, something to hang on to. This has got a handle, but I don't understand the handle on that except for to open it. Which, whatever. I'm going to leave this on there, and I'm hoping to cut this out in this area. hope uh, the rest of it works. We gotta mark this and this piece has to go in that and there's a metal bar behind this. Oops. So that'll be fun. 22. Let's see how good it shuts. Okay, now you do that enough times it marks it. The mark, the mark, the mark. That's the door latch mark, that's my marks. Simple cut metal. See if it actually works. Not too bad. Probably about as strong as an RV's door is going to be. This took way too long to get done. I have not finished the lower sections down here because I still need to install this carpet. I don't want to install that carpet yet. I need to make some sort of overhead storage up here and above the window. I'm going to do another overhead storage. I got us a table installed. <clears throat> it is a little high for this style of chair, but we're not going to use that. Plus it's high enough to where I can always use this inside for other things. This uh, table does fold down out of the way. These little pieces there. There. It's not totally flat, but that's as far as it goes. So our next feet, we need to make some brackets. But I need that table to keep my crap on. I don't need this chair in my way. Oh, they suck. There. Here's my plan. Went and got some half inch by half inch tubing, some half inch flat bar. I already had a few pieces here. Uh, let's see. I don't remember what my measurements were again. Those are 12s. Okay. 12 inch, 8 inch. So, above the window, I'm just going to weld these brackets 
in a perfect L. I'm going to cut a small chunk of this flat bar here to come off. I'll drill a hole in them and that's how I'll mount it to the wall and one to the ceiling. And then the big cabinet on the front is going to be, these are 15 inches and then I'm going to come out 12 and do the exact same. I'll have a little tab that comes in the inside of the cabinet and then one on the bottom for the wall. ourselves some brackets got the small ones for over here I'm gonna have to take some measurements which I forgot my tape measure and so the brackets on this side there's a piece of steel going up here and a piece of steel going across so this one will be pretty easy I'm just gonna use these same what the heck they call these things self drilling lath screws we're just gonna use the same screws and if I drill the hole correct, I never thought about that. No, they fit. Okay. Now, the front up here, where I'm going to put this other cabinet up here, these pieces of steel run this way, and I'm not bringing that cabinet out this far. I don't want to smack my head on it. But we have a bracket for each one of those, like this. We're going to put, um, I can't remember what they call them. Basically, we're going to screw threads into the wood. So we got to mark, drill, and then put those in. Uh, let me get a tape measure. I'm going to get this other side done first. Okay, if the film gets a little wiggly, it's because uh, this isn't very stable today. All right. So we need to figure out this is mm, yeah, probably eight and five eighths will be, be fine. There, right about there. Okay. Now, I am just kind of guessing on the square here because none of this in here is level. Because I really never never leveled the floor out. I'm going to go ahead and put a bracket there, here, and at the end down here. Now on this side, I think I'm going to mark holes. Uh, and then run the screws in beforehand. That was kind of a pain. But, it's hard to see on camera, but all four are in. I'm not sure... On this last one, I think I'm going to have to put one of these uh, wood thread things I have over there. And anyways, let's get these marked out. Alright. I need to go get those nut certs. Uh, figure out what screws go in them and what drill bit to use and then we'll get the tops we'll get all those brackets installed uh, I have not figured out what I want to do um, for the bottom and the front or cupboard door. I haven't figured any of that out yet so we'll get there now let's get these brackets done I gotta remember I gotta drill these upper holes out bigger because uh, my plan is changed. Let's see if I can stab myself. 
Don't hit your head in the bracket. I'm gonna have to get used to that. Don't hit your head. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I still have to trim. There's a bunch of little things I still gotta do. I think I'm ready to see how difficult I can make this. Let's, uh, let's start with the one that you're gonna see the most. things go in with an Allen. Who's Allen? I don't know, but pretty popular in the mechanic world. Huh, that looks pretty nice. Huh. All right, well. I think I'm most proud of these lights being so bright in here. It's brighter than my garage. Um, now these cabinets won't be able to support, um, so much weight. Like if we're throwing canned foods and all kinds of stuff, it won't, neither one of these cupboards are going to support that weight. If we need, that's what this toolbox down here is for. The bottom drawer is, uh, large enough to put anything heavy. I'm hoping that it's not too cheap, but whatever. Deal with that later. Mainly for bedding. Uh, we got to have somewhere to put clothes. Things like that. And I'm glad this worked because I was, uh, I was kind of wondering how I was going to mount the rest of this stuff to the wall. So I'm hoping these are going to work out. Okay. This still lines up. one of those bendy bit holders. There's the here's the the comparison on the size difference here. This one's mainly for just clothing up here. It's you figure you should be able to get a few weeks worth of clothing in this area and then whatever extras this is mainly just for lightweight now i uh i've already been building the little rack thing here that's gonna be able to put the cooler oh shoot you know what I didn't account for this being in the way all right it's not all that tall well, this thing will be eventually bolted into the top of the toolbox <clears throat> and it'll have little tabs on the back of this that come down on both sides and we'll do the same uh, that we did on the ceiling here with those wooden deals um, like that somehow once we get this figured out and leveled I think it comes down I hope there's enough room to sneak that cooler in and drop it down. It's just going to set in there. And I haven't figured this all the way out yet because I'm going to make a bracket from the here over to here. And I want to be able to put the jackery on top of it up here because I need this, I need this space here to be able to fuel our diesel heater. Once it's not installed yet, um, so I need to get this rack built. Actually, it's not, and we'll get it all leveled out like that. I think the cooler will still fit. Uh, another thing I forgot was these solar panels. I want to house back here behind. Oh, they'll fit, but I think getting them out is going to be a pain in the ass. Obviously, this isn't going to be used as much because we have the big 220 watt panel on top. 
but if you're parked somewhere for a long time and using power and everything and i guess i guess having to lift that cooler out to get these out won't be that big of a deal all right we're going to use some old scrap plywood for the bottoms but i have to notch every one of those bars for the bottom because we're not going to put an inside wall I don't want to run it through the table saw because I feel like there's a, a whoop in it somewhere right here. I, I feel like there's a dive of some sort in this area because that's really, really tight. That's all it needed. One of these cupboards we got pretty much done. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not really sold on putting heavy doors or anything on this yet. I have another idea I think I might try. Um, I did not cut an opening here because you should be able to reach a little bit there. And we've been kind of going through some of our other stuff on um, what we want to put in here also. And now we just need to get, we're going to get this one wrapped up. Now I'm not using a whole bunch of fasteners on these. I think it's going to be plenty. I will have to put some sort of support in this corner and the corner of this one here. You can see it. It does move if you push on it pretty good. So I am going to add a support. Okay, well, I'm going to get the space done and the backboard built. For me to figure out how I want to door or opening or anything on any of this i just started cutting on a piece of wood until i figured it looked pretty good in these areas so i went in there i measured center because we're going to have a middle door i just guessed this is about 15 wide i think it's eight ish tall um, made my center mark center uh, i'm just going to square this piece up i'm going to trace it and then i'm going to use this is what I used on the other cupboard, just something round to round these corners. Um, and then I need to figure out center between these markings and the edge. Because we want this to look evenly spaced, not, not like we just started throwing bullet holes at it. So let's get this squared up real quick. And I just guess that's two and a quarter. Close enough. Good enough. Just mark. You don't have to mark all the way down because we're going to put that circle in there. And then I'm going to take an edge of this, just line it up to my lines, and that's going to be my my cut. Now that's uh, the front side. We did leave the bottom bars exposed. We kind of like that idea. So this is all we're gonna do on this video. I had to order some more stuff. Come back, we're gonna finish this mess, carpet, trim out. 
a step, a handle. I don't know. I'm sure the list will just keep growing. But uh, hey, thanks for watching and tune into the next one.